Greetings, ladies and germs of planet Earth and beyond. King Zero Phoenix has returned, and welcome back to Subnautica. I believe last time we left off, we were about to explore the wreck near Life Pod 17 in the grassy plateaus. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am pretty excited about the full release of this game when it eventually comes out. It should be sometime either this month or it might be in October. I looked it up online, they said its release date would be scheduled for Halloween. Honestly, for me, that's not too, too bad. Because believe it or not, my birthday is the first week of October, and if reality, the game ends up being released between now and then, like Halloween, that would just make my, my day more than you can believe. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, this may sound a little arrogant of me, but I actually hope to be among the first to post a video of this once it becomes official, it's full release. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going near there just yet. I know. I'm glad the Reapers are gone. I still prefer to err on the side of caution. Floodlight. New blueprint acquired. The laser cutter. Don't I have that already? Uh, yes. Oh, there it is. Diamond. Can't see anything. There we go. I hear a sand shark. Is that person? You see, I'm sure those of you who've played the game have noticed a picture of that woman whenever we enter the Rex. Just who exactly is that supposed to be? And... <sighs> Daylight. That helps a lot. Confused around this part here. Nothing down that way. Or that way. Oh, yes. A prawn suit fragments. 20 this time. That's twice as much as they used to be. I wonder what this is. Disinfected water can never have too much of that. Oh, the battery charger. sense to anybody? Hello. Oh, so they finally did something with this. Uh, no good yet. Laser cutter fragments. Oh, what have we here? Thirty seconds. Oh, that's my cue. Come on. 
my god, 12. Nine. Blech. That was close. people. Uh, that was just my old man. Wondering what I want for dinner. That's right. I'm in my mid-twenties and still living with my parents. It's not too, too bad. If I was in my mid-thirties, no, that would be pathetic. Honestly, the reason I haven't, I've thought about moving out, but honestly, I just don't really see a reason to. I mean, they do give me everything I need, not because, because they have to, but simply out of the kindness of their hearts. I mean, what more can anybody ask for? I still do give them a hard time, just as I did when I was a kid. But I saw something. No, it's just more of those laser cutter fragments. What exactly was the point of that data terminal over there? I mean, all it is is gibberish. Ooh. Not sued, please. <sighs> it's practically embedded into the wall. situations like this that makes you think humans really should have tried to evolve gills. Okay, this time I actually remember where you... Ah, that's where I came out. <laughs> Boom. Whoa. Reaching out of, out, of the, out of the water like a dolphin. If I get turned around so easily. Ah, there it is. Come on. I'll be quiet, you. Whoa. Picture frame. Yourself. What the? Reason? Sorry, I'm not on the menu. And I ain't got nothing you could eat. Ooh. Propulsion cannon. I know where they are. 72 seconds of oxygen. Think I can make it? I'm going for it. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to use the oxygen command. Ooh, what is... PDA. Altera Citizen Testimonials. No way out. Oh well. <sighs> At least now with this thing. Hello. Natural Selection. That's supposed to be a game or something? I honestly don't know. I claim to be a gamer, though I don't know too much about those kind of games. Let's just find whatever else I can find and get out of here. Remember, these, these floodlights used to be battery-powered. Now they're powered by everything in the base. Just like the searchlights. I wonder when that change occurred. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Yourself. I didn't like my growls, by the way. Go back to those when I was a kid. Not gonna lie, when I growing up, I was kind of an oddball. I was a noisemaker good just because. <laughs> Most often I've been told I should have gotten a job as a voice, voice actor. Honestly though, I don't know who 
It's true, I do have the eccentric. Sometimes I even joke, but I could be as eccentric as Robin Williams. Oh, no one could ever replace He's him. All right, oxygen command off and back to the life pod. What it says. I think I was getting thirsty. Almost. Mission cannon. Still don't have enough of the mobile vehicle, bay. Eh? I don't even have even half of the ingredients of the prawn suit. I can make a scanner room. And now I can make a floodlight. The bioreactor. Jack septic tank. You know, whenever I started at this game and the day showed a few days after the day I last left off, that always confused me. But then I remembered I saw remember the sun. Said it would arrive in three two days time, which is well, the kick timer said about forty minutes, I think. So technically, I have to remember every time I'm a day pet. As is here, as in our world, several days pass in there. Seriously, what is this? I don't know if I'm going to have a class in your room. Does this make any sense to anybody? Ugh. Whatever. Public documents. I'll tear a citizen. Frank told us this. I hear there are worlds out there where kids still learn from books. They go into a classroom every day, they memorize things, then later they type those things out in controlled environments. Or, or worlds where everyone's supposed to... And supposed to... Whatever... Ugh, bad grammar. Or a creative job they feel like. What use is learning to draw or sing in a world where there's no human resource department to coordinate the galleries and concerts? On Altera Worlds, psychometric testing and specialized digi-training makes the most of everyone's talents. Max Zoinkov. Max Zoinkov. Sounds like... Okay. They started out both in marketing for Altera survival systems. It was good work, but I thought I could do better. I set up my own company, developing spot code for the CMOS so it could operate in open space not just underwater. I sold up to Altera ten years ago, and now it's one of the most viably used vehicles in the galaxy. Now I'm on the board of Dela Ectos. And I haven't looked back. George, an average day for me starts at 10 a.m. I live in a controlled habitat on Terra 17, so everything I need is less than five minutes away. I'm a naturally empathetic person, so I took work as a companion. I spend my days visiting clients, talking with them, learning about them, paying them the attention that everyone needs and deserves. And like most people on all Terra worlds, I'm lucky enough to earn a living doing the things I enjoy. Kaz says, We're lucky. We're free. We have jobs. There are transcovs out there that do everything with robots or where weapons are legal, you know? Jamie had this to say, I design artificial worlds, including some of the most popular factory defaults. To do what I do, you need to know what people really want. They want excitement, adventure, new experiences, to be whoever they want to be. My job is to make that happen. There are people who say we spend too much time escaping our lives and not enough time making them better. Those people are usually from outside Altera space. What's wrong with being who you are? That's a problem with people. Some people leave it the way some people are brought up, it makes... See it as a crime for others to be who they are. This is what I believe. It's never, ever, ever a crime to be who you are. You think you have... You may say you have no right. That's wrong. You have every right because you exist. Let's see. Sunbeam broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. You couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. <laughs> That's not good. Reginald. I looked it up and it turns out there is no way to save them. So I guess we just have to do what we can. I know what I need to do now. Don't have it. Oh. 
I need a battery, titanium, cave sulfur, and a diamond. I've got cave sulfur, I can make another battery. I just need the diamond. Thankfully, I know exactly where I need to go. I told you there was a reason why I picked that specific location right there to build my base. The grand an entrance to the Grand Reef is just over there. And there's the wreck that contains blueprints for most of the other tech that I'm gonna need. But now that I think about it, I'm also gonna be going very deep. I better swap out the radiation helmet for the for the rebreather. Wait. I don't have the rebreather. Crap. Here. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. Fiber mesh. Two creepine samples. Two silver. Bring it. Bingo. Wow, that really happens. Usually whenever I try to dig into the sandstone sand outcrops, I always get gold instead of silver. Huh, looks like you aren't completely useless. Fiber mesh. Wiring kit. Rebreather. At least with this, it'll help me conserve my oxygen when I go deeper. And swap out. Just enough space. I hate that it's getting dark, but I don't have a choice. So any of those you are what do watch these videos, I need your opinion on something. When I play this on my own time, like just randomly, I have a special addition to my base, sort of like a, a zoo, if you want to call it that. Where I take all the hatchable creatures and built off a separate like section of my base out in the open areas of the grassy plateaus where I simply build and just let them be if that even makes sense even though it's barely a complete sentence here we are the grand reef the membrane tree I always love this thing this entity defies neat categorization. It consists of more than one coral species working in tandem to create an insulated microcosm enclosed within a translucent membrane found exclusively growing on basalt rock in the Grand Reefs. The homeostatic conditions within are considerably warmer and more dense with microbial life than the outside environment, and the bright purple fauna inside will likely die off very quickly if exposed. The Floating Stones Is it just me, or does the Grand Reef look a little creepier than I remember? Titanium deposits. On the right track, but uh-oh. What am I doing? Wait a minute. I know that sound. Oh no, warpers. <gasps> I gotta watch out for those things, they're nasty. As I was saying, my special zoo, I'm wondering, I want to try building it here in this save game. But honestly, I could use some other opinions. How about you share news with the comments below? Think if, if you think I should or shouldn't. I hear them. In dark situations like this, for my scan room. 
I don't need any more of those. No. What's up here? Scanner room. Hey, is that a jelly plant? Oh, sorry, gel sack. <gasps> I see you. Don't come anywhere near me. I may be infected, but there are no visible signs of that yet. Is that? You're right. Aluminum oxide. Hmm. You know what? I really didn't want to, but... Oh, well. I need stuff from here, and I can't afford to keep going back up and... I see you. Don't come anywhere near me. I don't want to get warped. What are these? Thermal plant. Oh, yes. Scanner room. What is that? Basalt. Ooh, a data box. The Cyclops Hall module. That's gonna come in handy. What is this? Oh, don't scan something I already have. I don't need any more titanium. A moon pool. Heck yes. Basalt. Bingo. Diamond. Are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. What? I am in a survival situation and they're billing me? I'll probably just complete bullcrap. Thank I'll be lucky if I make it off this planet alive. Hmm. I forgot. I need the laser cutter to get through some of the other areas around here. No matter. I got what I needed. The battery. <gasps> he is right outside, isn't he? Or it's or whatever you want to call it. I'm not staying. Is that the new voice I've heard about? Ooh, that is terrifying. You know what? I'm not risking it. I saw Eagle Eagle's almost out of power. I'm going home. Hey, you, you down there. You're not going to get me. You are not going to get me. He's telling me he's not following me. Sorry, just eerie, eerie noises in the ocean tend to make me a little paranoid. Okay, oxygen cheat now false. I apologize if you don't approve me using the cheats, but when it comes to explore, I can't afford to stop. That reef back's a little too close to the surface, don't you think? Strange, they altered the creep. The topography of this creep by force is different than I remember. Either that or I'm just looking at it from a different angle. Let's see. The drooping stinger. Tell me that does not look like a jellyfish. Zero photosynthetic cells detected. Implies carnivorous adaptation to low light environments. Follicles along the tentacle capable of detecting contact with foreign bodies. Triggering an electromagnetic charge of a 600 watt range. Prey is likely paralyzed and consumed over many weeks. 
These are getting structures grow on cave walls. The purple sacks which burst from the surface contain a low density gel laced with spores. These burst from time to time floating towards the surface and attaching onto the next rock face they encounter. Vital material and aerogel fabrication. You have the tiger plant. A plant that can actually shoot you. Yes, we all know it. Hard igneous rock formed by past volcanic activity likely to contain very rare minerals such as diamond and uranium, which cannot be found elsewhere. Gold, diamond, and uranium source. To think there's a and other than earth where uranium can be found in nature. Okay. Gold, diamond, pretty white. Let's see. Tools. Just need titanium and the cake silver. Boom and boom. Shazam. And I think I can scan this too. Give me a second. Notice they actually swapped the sounds between the laser cutter and the welder. The ultra high frequency laser cutter is tuned specifically to cut through titanium and plasteel based materials at a thickness of up to 10 centimeters. This makes it an essential tool for construction, salvage, and rescue operations, but ineffective on natural obstacles. The Altera laser cutter, who called the locksmith. <laughs> yep, still infected. Actually, now that I have this, I'm gonna do something stupid. Glide's almost out of power. Wait, is that? That is on eye eye. I guess my eyes are just playing tricks on me. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. This way. anymore. But the fact is, I there is a bone shark. Could you imagine if sharks got like this in our world? Yeah! Ow! Jesus, that came out of nowhere. wonder if that's the sound I was hearing. curious about. Actually, this, all this crap is all property of Altera, correct? Well, since it crash landed, and I'm not in, technically in Altera space, so I believe maritime laws apply. So I'm basically commandeering pieces from an Altera class ship. Of course they can't give me permission to do so, nor can they until I actually get on. I'm coming. Avaging technology in international waters, which I think, by definition, mm. I don't see him. Makes me a pirate. King Zero Phoenix, space pirate. He's leaving. Uh. You know, I think I really should be wearing some protective goggles for this. Mm. 
There we go. <laughs> Ow! Got too close to the wires. What's up here? Another data box. Hey! The Cyclops stuck in the repair module. Wait. Uh, I'm guessing that one must not be 100% implemented in the game yet, because I just found it, yet it doesn't say it's no, implemented. Now that's by far one of the most useful modules in the, for the Cyclops in the entire game. And that way you don't have to keep taking out your vehicles just to repair them. They could just be repaired the minute you get in. Sure, it costs a lot in terms of energy, but hey, it's worth it. Almost feel like a secret agent cutting this thing open. There you go. Another data box. Let's see what you got for me this time. The repulsion cannon. Nice. Though I think I said this before, all of this is basically moot unless I can find the modification station with which to build them all. There's another way out. It's definitely the warper. <gasps> I still don't think it knows I'm here. Ooh, is that the grappling? The prawn suit grappling arm. New blueprint acquired. As I say, a profile Torgal Corp. See what it says. Torgal Corporation is a long-standing family-run clan that operates almost a dozen mining and trading operations. The company's share price hit an all-time high on the announcement by a Mongolian cabal of their... Do you mind? I am trying to read over here. Nervous, some people. Can construct a new phase gate utilizing Torgal materials. These plans were put on hold when Bart Torgal, the intended leader of the new mining operation, disappeared along with his father. They crash landed here. And since there's no chance they survived all that, on chances they ended up succumbing to the Karar virus. <gasps> I'm not staying. This place actually looks beautiful in the daytime. Now, this is no time to stop and sniff the rose if the flowers. Thermal vents. I have to think if marine life on our world is just as mysterious as, in, as on an alien planet. I only have a sea light. What is this? <gasps> oh, yes. Ha! The mobile vehicle bay. I'm not going in there. Let's see. Here we are. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and a power cell. Sounds easy enough. I'm starting to think I should have left beacons on everywhere there's a wreck in this place, because trying to find them all naturally is just time-consuming. Let me eat. Good keeper. 
cheapest creepers where'd you get those peepers oh come on like anyone ha everyone hasn't thought of that song every time they heard the word peeper now, let's see i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. excellent just enough titanium for an ingot four five nine eight First, that bone shards are gonna bite a chunk out of me. Exciting to rain tonight. Let's see, what else do I need? Lubricant and a power cell. Silicone rubber and two batteries. Hey, we got a lot of work ahead of us, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop this episode because it's starting to run on long. So, Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this adventure. Hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more. And share your opinions with me in the comments below. And until next time, this is King Zero Phoenix, signing off. Laters!